Welcome to ODD TV, where sci-fi and fantasy merge with reality. So there's this old movie, right? It's from 1966, and it's called Fahrenheit 451. It's based on a book from 1953 by Ray Bradbury. It's about a future American society where books are outlawed and firemen, as in fire departments, have the duty of burning any books that are found. Well, just a few days ago, HBO put out a remake of Fahrenheit 451. It has Michael B. Jordan from Black Panther as Montag, and the guy that bones Eminem's mom on 8 Mile as Beatty. Together, we are... Fahrenheit 451, a fire station so named because... Fahrenheit 451 is a temperature at which book paper catches fire and starts to burn. In the original version, books were the only target. However, this new remake expands the Near Future's banned material list to include music, art, personal computers, and movies. At one point, Montag curiously holds a VHS copy of Taxi Driver in his hand. A few seconds later, he peers at a crumbling film strip of Gene Kelly singing in the rain. The HBO version opens with a quote from the Bill of Rights. It is better to be happy than free. It's a lie, of course. In the future, the state has rewritten history itself, 1984 style. In fact, there are several parallels that can be drawn from George Orwell's 1984 and Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. The future described in 1984 is a society locked within a state of perpetual war and suffers from omnipresent government surveillance and public mind control, all dictated by the ruling political party. Independent thought is seen as a criminal offense. Citizens who partake in independent thought and individualism are persecuted as being guilty of thought crimes. All this is carried out and justified to be in the name of the so-called greater good. This is similar to Fahrenheit 451 in the sense that books are banned from public viewing and are burnt if seen. Books are a physical representation of a person's individuality and independent thinking, and for that to be banned from the public is essentially identical to prohibiting individualism and free thinking. Do you want to know what's inside all these books? Insanity. Anyway, so now only three books that have been abridged into a handful of emojis are available to the citizens in Fahrenheit 451. The Bible. To the lighthouse. And Moby Dick. This is all you need to know. Anything else will make you sick, crazy. And that's why we're here. To protect you and to keep you safe and happy. In this movie, the Internet of Things is known as the Nine. The Nine is run by an Alexa-like operating system named Uxie. Two times two is five is sometimes also a most charming little thing. False. Uxie, I said go dark. We are dark. It's just me and you. Yeah, this version of the film is much different from the original and the book. This one includes the all-encompassing state of social media and even mentions the AI takeover. Before bots and the rise of automated writing, we had jobs for journalists. I'm dead. She'd spend weeks, sometimes months, investigating a story. And then she'd publish a series of articles, even thousands of words long, on physical paper and the internet or the nine today, which everyone was free to read. But nobody was reading anymore, or they were just glancing at the headlines generated by an algorithm. Thousands of words Ugh. in your pathetic time were people happy. This is something that's coming and happening right now, really. With the rollout of the 5G network and the rise of smart grids, smart cities, smart poles, smart cars, smart this, smart that, numerous nanotechnology applications, and so on, we are entering into the kingdom of Skynet, you know? Genesis. Yeah, I pre-ordered Genesis weeks ago, downloading the second the counter hit zero. 
No way I'm standing in line for it. You know about Genesis? How? What is it? Where'd you hear about it? I'll call you back. Genesis is an operating system? What's it do? Genesis does everything. My phone will link to my tablet, will link to my computer, will link to my car. Everything in my life uploaded and online 24-7. Totally connected. Connected to what? A fully automated system with weaponized airwaves and the ability to microwave anything, anywhere, at any time. As with any movie, the critics are out there. Most people are not giving this Fahrenheit 451 any positive feedback. They're saying this is just more of the same dystopian stuff we've been bombarded with for the past 10 years. Not that it matters, but I did enjoy this film, and I would say that we've always been immersed in this kind of content because there is an agenda at play. Do your research on predictive programming. Predictive programming is a subtle form of psychological conditioning provided by the media to acquaint the public with planned societal changes that will be implemented at a later date. There are many proofs for predictive programming that have come to pass, including September 11th and Donald Trump being the President of the United States. As you know, we've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. How bad is it, Secretary Van Houten? We're broke. Pop quiz, hotshot. Besides government, what has a president and a vice president? Yep, corporations. You want to know why? America's not a country. It's just a business. Lots of truth to be had from movies. Meanwhile, the news is completely fake. And then this movie about professional book burners right in your face when this has always been a problem and it's still happening. The truth is, I can show you this huge list of book burnings, but appropriately enough, we can't really rely on that to be accurate. There's probably thousands of unrecorded incidents. The main reason for book burnings is to erase history and rewrite it. We are already living in this 1984 nightmare dystopia, but most of us can't recognize it from the inside. It's like asking a fish, how's the water? Most fish would say, what the f is water? We are so tangled up in this system that was already in place before we were born that most folks just can't see it. There's a part in this flick where they're all proud about Benjamin Franklin being the founder of the fire department, but they think that he set out to destroy books. Benjamin Franklin, the founder of our first fire department, gave us the right to burn. Those are lies. Ben Franklin did not do that. Did we used to put out fires? That's a classic eel lie. And Benjamin Franklin? Founder of our first fire department. I'm comfortable in saying that history has been revised time and time again. The year 1939, when Charlie Chaplin and his evil Nazi regime enslaved Europe and tried to take over the world. The Zionists and the Jesuits have been hard at work for centuries to achieve their goal of total world domination and have a one world everything. They pretty much already have it, if you haven't noticed. They have to get a few other resistant countries on board with the plan in order to proceed, but it's all happening now, you know? While we're being either too complacent or distracted. Combination of both. Happy slaves, comfortable slaves, ignorant slaves, etc. And the most ironic part about it all is the fact that we are distracted from the truth by the truth. Only the truth we are distracted with is disguised as fiction. And you see a lot of remakes lately of older movies like Westworld, turned into a TV show. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale, turned into a TV show. The Giver, turned into a movie. And I hear that Metropolis, a miniseries, is in the works by the guy that created Mr. Robot. I really like the old movie because it lays it all out there, like, early on in cinematic history. Um, the silent movie depicts a slave class that operates underground machines to power the city for the elite class. Very straightforward and absolutely true. The economy is the system, the beast, the machine that the rulers and their minions thrive on. We could have used it against them if they hadn't already dumbed us down and divided us to the maximum. There's a time when the 
when the operation of the machine becomes so odious, makes you so sick at heart that you can't take part, you can't even passively take part, and you've got to put your bodies upon the gears and upon the wheels, upon the levers, upon all the apparatus, and you've got to make it stop, and you've got to indicate to the people who run it, to the people who own it, that unless you're free, the machine will be prevented from working at all. Thank you for watching ODD TV. Feel free to explore more videos here on Odd Reality to learn more about the truth before this channel is completely censored. Don't believe the lies you've been told. 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 Don't believe the lies you've been told.